many years ago as a young woman, young girl, now I'm an old woman, veteran, <laughs> um, they used to teach us that democracy is government of the people, by the people, for the people. It is not elections. <laughs> it is government by the people. Huh? Government of the people, by the people, for the people. The elected officials are supposed to act for the people, not for themselves, not for their own pockets. Now, to connect it with the discussion we just had before, if an elected official is not acting for the people, they are not being democratic. The, if they steal the money that is intended for the people, they are not being democratic. And therefore, going by the scorecard of the space project, there is no democracy in Gulu if, for accountability, we scored only 2.9. Because it means nearly half of the other side, the score we could have got, is an indicator that there is no democracy because the people, the duty bearers, are not acting for the people. Now, for the people to be able to be part of the definition of democracy, of government of the people, by the people, it means that they must be able to participate freely. They are not participating freely, and that is what I think the moderator is hinting at by pointing out the question of the journalist Kakwenza, the author Kakwenza, whereby, at least this is how I'm understanding the moderator's question, there seems to be a way of scaring people from participating and providing their alternative views. So if I give my views that are not favorable to you, do you then go outside of the law to bring me to book? These are the questions we need to ask. Are people being intimidated and scared, Mr. RDC, within Gulu to be able to participate freely in their right as citizens of Uganda, which is a republic that believes in government of the people, by the people, for the people? Ms. Ar Mr. RDC, you brought up, as I wound up, the Constitution. And you said within the Constitution, the citizen welfare is stipulated. The civic management is stipulated. Now, the question I think our moderator was asking, to what extent in Gulu district local government are we constitutional? Are we, wh what is the constitutionality level here? When we make our decisions, do we actually make them in accordance with the constitution of the Republic of Uganda? And do we make them in consultation of the people? Do we get authority to make our decisions after we have consulted our people because it is they who are our bosses? Democracy for the people, of the people, by the people. And one of the things that we had come up in the discussion yesterday with the students is that it seems that district local government officials are more scared of PAC, I mean, are more scared of the public accounts committee in parliament than they are scared of their people because they think their people have no power over them, but the parliamentary uh, accountability committee has more power on